Number 44. The length, width, and height of a rectangular solid are 8, 4, and 1, respectively. So I'll do my uh, best to draft this out here. The height is 1, the width is 4, and the length is 8. So if I draw this as a three-dimensional rectangular prism, here we have our length, width, and height, 1, 4, and 8. They want to know what is the length of the longest line segment whose endpoints are two vertices of this solid. So the two furthest points on a rectangular prism are what is known as the diagonal, the opposite corners going through the, the whole shape here. Now, there's a few ways to go about this. You could use Pythagor Pythagorean theorem twice and make another right triangle here. And when we do this, we can say, okay, well, if we know this one, and this side here would be finding Pythagorean theorem with four and eight to find this side. We could use one on this side to get that diagonal, but that's a lot of work and I wanna teach you guys an equation. If you don't already know it, you should know it. So the diagonal of a rectangular prism equals the square root of the length squared plus the width squared plus the height squared. So now you can see this is fairly easy. The diagonal here, whoops, the diagonal has to equal the square root of four squared plus eight squared plus one squared. So that diagonal is going to equal, put a G here, the square root of 16 plus 64 plus one, which means the diagonal is gonna simply equal the square root of 81, which we know to be nine, okay? So that makes B the answer. Now, just to go down the Pythagorean theorem twice move, which I'm not a huge fan of, but a lot of students do end up using it. You really should know that equation. It's pretty sweet. You would do this. Like I said, we wanted the distance between these two points. And perhaps it's easier if I draw this triangle here through the center of it, where I'm coming down the height here, I'm making my right angle, and I'm going across the bottom of the base here. So I need to find, I know that this side is one. I'm sort of looking at this weird skinny triangle here. This is one. This diagonal here is right here, the diagonal. We have our right angle, but we need to find this side. So we're gonna use this right triangle on the base here with a side of four and eight to find this side. So we say that four squared plus eight squared equals C squared. 16 plus 64 equals c squared, 80 equals c squared, and then we say that c equals the square root of 80 when we square root both sides. Now I can simplify this as a radical, but that's unnecessary work, so I won't do it. Now I know that this bottom length here is rad 80 along the bottom, so I can say this is the square root of 80. Now I can use Pythagorean theorem again to find the diagonal, one squared plus rad 80 squared equals the diagonal squared. So 1 plus 80, which is 81, equals the diagonal squared. And as you see here, I'm going to square root both sides. And the diagonal again is going to be 9. Really make sure that you know this equation. The diagonal of a rectangular prism is, is really a simple equation once, once you have it. And it can be very beneficial should they ask a problem about this.